believe what has happened. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm just gonna hide what's in the background because silly old me has deleted the intro <laughs> of this video already. I've already got products out that I am going to start reviewing in a minute. I just wanted to say I'm sorry I haven't posted anything um, during lockdown. I said I was, I just never got around to it. Disclaimer, everything... <sighs> I have no makeup on for the whole sole reason I am going to be trying products from a company <laughs> who scammed me. Okay, they didn't quite scam me, but we're gonna say they did. I ordered from Miss A. This is a American brand where they sell makeup for really inexpensive prices. Literally everything I've ordered was a dollar or 80p, 80 pence <laughs> in our country, in the UK. Um, one thing was one dollar 55 I think I know that because I've already filmed the second part so I'll just tell you what happened Miss A no shade no tea <laughs> didn't fully explain to me that I had to pay a handling fee of 11 pound after I've already paid the shipping fee I couldn't physically not have my parcel unless I paid 11 pound which okay 11 pound isn't a lot but the products themselves nearly was literally nearly that anyway and it made me feel like I was paying double and they didn't advertise this when I was buying the items. I did look back and see after I purchased the items it said this but that's no good because obviously I would not have purchased from them if I'd have known this. Second of all, my friend also ordered from here and she did not have to pay a handling fee of £11. She did not have to pay it. So I, I wanted to know where this discrimination of customers comes from. I have gave them a very strongly worded email. Um, which so far they are not taking well but our differences aside I'm going to be reviewing all the things I have purchased this is on my phone the second half is on my camera because not only did I delete the footage the battery ran out and the SD cards full luckily I have upgraded my storage on my iCloud to 50 gig not 5 so hopefully I can video most of this now well in fact all of this on my phone <laughs> let me review this stuff i'm so excited um i hope you all enjoy please subscribe you know follow me on my socials i'll leave them down below and i hope you enjoy this video oh by the way i'm gonna do a complete makeup look um with these items hopefully other than the foundation and concealer as they did not have any lighter skin products at the moment they must be sold out they only had the richer deeper skin tones to choose from uh, which obviously i am the palest of the pale it's not going to suit me at all so i'll be using my own foundation and concealer so let's get on with the oh, video <laughs> okay so let's continue with the video i hate myself right i'm gonna put this headband in because my hair's greasy. I need to wash it. I wasn't planning on making this video. The items literally came about three hours ago and I had to get a shower to look a little bit presentable. Put on my new top from Zara, not Spawn. <laughs> I'm literally exposing myself with my five head. Look at the size of that forehead. Anyway, <gasps> I'm actually, actually so excited. These are the types of YouTube videos I love watching myself. These and food videos. So if you want to see a food video where I review different foods, whatever, let me know. Oh, draw it be good. Different sweets. Oh my goodness. Let me know if you're interested in that. So, let me see. I bought a pair of socks. <laughs> I bought two pairs of socks, one for my mum and one for me. Yeah, by the way, where's the packaging? I was meaning to say something about this brand. Positive, because it started off quite negative. So, what I can see about this brand, Miss A, is that it says it's supporting education. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they mean in like developing countries. It says cruelty free makeup. Excellent, that's what we like to see. Makeup accessories, one pound. Yep, it is one pound. Well, it says one dollar, because <laughs> it's American. It came to about 80p per item. Some of them were one pound something, but overall on their website, everything, like all the little, like the normal things are a dollar. And underneath it says, feel good ingredients and supporting animals are. Oh, and that's really cute. Look, I don't want to show you my address, but supporting animals. I don't know if you can see that. This is going to be the difficult bit where I'm already worrying about focusing. I'm going to worry about showing you the specific items. Feel, feel good ingredients. 
I'm gonna feel good after this. Let me see, let me see. This doesn't look like a lot. So yeah, I ordered, I think it's 19 items. Let me check. One, two, three, four. 19 items and one is missing, so there's 18 items. What The one that's missing is a hand and body lotion apricot butter. Honestly, I was kind of looking forward to that one. And where to start? Let me start with, oh, I'll start with the socks that I was talking about. These socks, it says princess accessories, how cute. They are little brown. You could get them in different colors, so I, I chose the brown. They're like a little kitten color. Kitten color? Kitten shape. Um, let me open these and have a closer look. Got my mum a different colour. I think I've got her grey. I'm sorry if you can't hear me. This is really crinkly. <laughs> Five minutes later. These are them. I'm going to take them off here. More opening. I'm going to review the quality as well of everything. I'll give everything a rating out of ten. For quality, for cuteness, you know, overall, whether I think they are good quality. These look so cute. I was really worried because they are all one size, but these look adorable. Actually, look at them. Can you see this? Can you see this? It's a little cat. Oh, honestly, it's so cute. So, they do feel like they might be a little bit itchy. Does anyone else feel like that with clothes? It's just that material that's quite knitted and itchy. Overall, I'm gonna say these are good quality. I'm gonna try them on. <laughs> Look. Ah. Okay, I can't show you them. They actually feel nice. Little on the small side, just a little bit on the small side. But overall, they feel they feel impressive. They do look a little bit rough the way they've been sort of stitched, sort of. I don't know, I'm gonna give them a seven out of ten. I think they're pretty cute. This is a mask brush, so this is to apply my face mask which i have two of i think i remember i've got two masks cue the opening montage <laughs> too much crinkling there's a lot in here we have oh here we go here's one of the is this this is a mask face mask yes coconut ultra hydrating sheer butter mask i don't know if you can see it i hope you can see it <laughs> this contains coconut lavender and sheer butter it's to moisturize and soften skin Sounds great. Does it have step by steps on the back? It does, so we'll have a look at that later. Next, I got a charcoal nose strip, removes blackheads and dirt. What more do we want than our blackheads removed and the dirt off our face? Next, a microfiber wonder blender. Now, people have been talking about microfiber blenders and I was just really excited. I have a sculpting brow pencil. I am not a brow pencil gal. It's only recently I've started trying to make my eyebrows look hairy rather than blocky, which I, I'm not the best at doing my eyebrows. So I just thought I'd try this and see. I got it in a colour caramel. I've been told my hair's caramel blonde, you know, sort of gingery, sort of blondy, sort of brownie, you know, in the middle. I don't know. Didn't know what colour to get, but I got this. We'll see. Next, auto lip liner, LA Colors in mauve. Not much else to say about that, but it's a lip pencil and I'm excited because mauve is a lovely color. So let's hope that this works good. Next, <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying that now. A gel eyeliner, what color is this? Navy, I got it in a navy blue. Right, I remember now. I wanted a navy blue one because I wanted it in my waterline to bring out the blueness in my eyes. So let's hope it does that. I also don't know what colour to do. Oh, did I order eyeshadow? I think I actually ordered eyeshadow, so I don't know what colours they're gonna be, but we're gonna see what look we're gonna do later. Oh, so with the mauve lip liner, we've got a lipstick in the shade Bliss. Also, oh no, this is by AOA Studios. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I love opening things, like buying things, opening things, my favourite thing ever. Next, we have a natural lip oil for hydrating lip treatment. Beauty Treats, this is called. It's just clear, looks like water. And I'm interested, what flavor is it? Infused with natural extracts and oils. It doesn't say a flavor. It says cruelty free though, not tested on animals, so I, fine with me. Right, I can see what this is. This is a brush cleaner. This, 
<laughs> Cleans brushes, I'm guessing. It says, a dry makeup removing sponge that allows you to remove pigment from your brushes without using water. Without using water. Hmm. Okay, I don't know about this one. Ooh, I quite like that sound. Ooh, a baked eyeshadow. Oh, anything baked. Oh, can't open it yet. Can't open it yet. That's to see in a minute. AOA Studio, same as some of the other products. Wonder Baked Eyeshadow in the colour. Oh, I'm going to butcher this. Cubano. <laughs> we'll have a closer look in a minute. Next, we have. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. This is Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer. Now, you won't be able to see this on camera. You might be able to see it when I show you in a little minute what it looks like. But it does look shimmery. It looks really good. There's no shade name. Yeah, brilliant. It says made in China. Let's see what that's like later. I've laid everything out here, lovely. I've also made my bed. Also made my bed for you. So how many products is that so far? So 13. You've got five left and they're all in here, so unless another one's missing. Oops, this is mini! Oh my goodness! AOA, again, studio. Um, perfect blush in shade Darling. Oh, that's such a cute name. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. Right. This is not what I expected. It's a velvet mousse eyeshadow. That's the bit that threw me off. It's mousse in shade Lace. It's a shimmer. So that'll go nice with the brownie shades we had before. And we'll do maybe a little cut crease. Maybe just a natural look with a bit of white over. I don't know. So this, ooh, AOA Studio Wonder Baked Highlighter. This is also a light color in shade icing. Ooh, I want to eat it. This looks cool. Like I said, I'll give you a closer look in a moment. And finally, Another highlighter. Oh, brilliant. I love highlighters. This is in shade Cream Puff. This is the charcoal strip. Wash your face and wet your nose thoroughly. BRB. <laughs> it says to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes, so I'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes. Right, it's been about 10 minutes. It said 10 to 15. Mm, I think it's been between that. So, should we try and peel it off? So. Ow. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> we washed that off one minute. The results. Oh, the result. Mm, I'm not going to show you. I, there's people who aren't into seeing things like this. But there's... It might have weirdly worked. Let me have a look at my nose. I think maybe I could have wetted it a little bit more. Maybe it'd have worked a little bit better. I'm gonna give it. Mm, I probably wouldn't buy it again. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten. It isn't the best, and it isn't the worst. It's just me. The next product I'm gonna try. I've just laid out all my makeup ready for doing my face of makeup. Is brush cleaner now? I'm skeptical. It does just feel like. It's like a sponge. Oh, when it comes out. I'm gonna use this bright red, pinky color that I must have used when I've done a makeup look recently. I'm just gonna, it says to swirl it in swirly motions. Seems gimmicky. I don't know how I feel about it. I wanna say no. This is gimmick. This, it also is now stain pink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a zero. I just don't see the point of it whatsoever, really. So that's a no from me. <laughs> Next though, we've got this natural lip oil. I've always been interested. Oh, it's a roller. Can't spell anything just yet. It's not, it's not really rolling. It's rolling on my hand. It feels sticky. I'm gonna give it. <laughs> Again, okay, a two out of ten. It still rolls if you press hard enough. It still, it tastes pretty nice, and it, it is an oil. It's just a bit sticky, and I probably wouldn't actually use it. Two out of ten. We're not off to a great start, really, are we? Let's hope the makeup portion of this video now is going to make up for it. So I'm gonna use my primer. Oh, I've just put it on the sticky lip bit. That's not good. I use the Max Factor X Miracle Prep. 
I recommend this. It's about, I think it's about £10 from Superdrug. Not great lighting, but this is a budget channel at the moment. <laughs> I tend to use, I tend to do my eyebrows next, but I am scared. I use a powder and a angle brush. This is a sculpting pencil. Oh my goodness, do you know what that smells like? It smells like crayons. Like actual like crayons. <laughs> Let me see about this. <laughs> Imagine this is just like my new go-to pencil. <laughs> Literally 80p. Honestly, I could mm. <gasps> look at it. What? I'm gonna salvage my brows as best as I can, only using this and then carving them out and I'll come back to you. <laughs> okay. I think the shade's a little off. It is actually the colour of my hair, which I prefer my brows a little bit of a shade darker than my hair. I'm not mad about it, honestly. Will I use it again? Yes, I actually would use it again. I'll I'll probably put this into my routine until it's gone, honestly. I don't like the formula. I don't like the crayon kind of applicator. It ain't for me. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It worked. It did what I wanted it to once I paid more attention to it and carved it out with concealer maybe get the darker colour if I was to get it again. Other than that, it, it did the job. Yeah, yeah. Next, we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow. Now, not gonna lie, I was kinda hoping the brush um, cleaner would work because my brushes are currently stained, but we're just gonna do what we can with it. So I'm gonna start off with the brown shade. I'll do swatches, shall I do swatches? Let's, swatches. <laughs> Let's do swatches. Wow. That, that is surprising. That looks really good. That, honestly, not mad about it. That's, that's a decent bronzy color. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it in my crease and I'm gonna put it all over my lid as well because you've only got two to work with. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so on the eye, it doesn't look as bronzy. It is blending really well with textures actually. Like I put it in the crease and already it's blending up nicely. So it isn't it isn't too dark. This is this will be really nice for a smoky eye. I'm gonna go do the other eye and then we're gonna have a look at what the mousse eyeshadow looks like. Usually I like a little bit of dimension in the eye looks that I do. And I can't get that with just one colour, but I will be testing this one next. This is the Velvet Mousse Eyeshadow I spoke about earlier. So this is the mousse. I'm, I'm gonna take a clean finger. I'm just gonna, oh no, it's wet. It's wet. Oh no, it's wet. That's just my bracelet off my friend. <laughs> she sent me during lockdown. This is the shade. Um, It looks very translucent, I'm not sure. See, this was the other one. This one looks brilliant, honestly. This one's, this one's not. This one's not great. It doesn't feel good quality. I'm just putting it in the middle to make a sort of halo eye. It's not even that shiny. It isn't, it really isn't. Uh, it's trash, it's not good. A mousse as well, it takes off what's already on your eye. I'm just gonna put it all over my lid. I'm gonna have a dewy brown. By the way, I'm such an unprofessional makeup applier. I am not an MUA. I am just someone who likes makeup. Now that is a glittery look. No, it's not. I wish it was. <laughs> no, not for me. So I tried to salvage a look with some winged liner and some lashes. These lashes are unreal and the, for the price point as well. By Elash Lashes. I will leave her, look how cute the packaging it is. Oh my goodness. I will leave her at <laughs> for her Instagram in my description. Please go and purchase some lashes. They are unreal. This is not sponsored. <laughs> um, and also these are in style Leah. Honestly, the most beautiful eyelashes and they're fluffy. Ring light's on its way, guys. Ring light will be here next time. She will enter the chat next time. So I'm gonna try this blue liner. Um, I've never actually used the blue eyeliner before, but someone else has on me and I absolutely loved it. Like this, it should come out like that. And this, eh. this is the tip. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it on just under my um, 
on my lash line actually and see how it goes. Yes, 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 yes. I think we have a product that I like. Yes! The formula is like quite creamy as well. It, it isn't dry because it's like a little crayon tip again. Again, crayon, not as bad as that other thing that we had earlier. But it is, it, it worked and it is, it's brought the colour. It's not lacking the colour. This definitely, for the price point, 10 out of 10. This is great. I recommend this. I'm sure the black would be the same as well in any other colour. They had several colours, but I wanted to try the navy. So, what is next? <gasps> The exciting part. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation and concealer on and then we'll move on to the face products. I use <laughs> Revolutions Conceal and Define in F2 for my foundation. It's unreal. Oh, <gasps> wait! Good job, I've just remembered. AOA Studio Wonder Blender, the microfiber. I need to try this right now. It's fairy. Even if this doesn't work, I'm going to squish it. <laughs> Completely, oh, submerge your sponge in water and squeeze out excess. Okay, it's wet. Let me see if this works. Well, it's put my foundation on. Hmm. I think the blender itself is absorbing a lot, like a lot of my foundation. Usually I literally only have to put two lines there, one there, two lines there, one down my nose, one across my forehead, and that is enough foundation to cover my whole face. I've just had to do double. It's applied it. Um, it also doesn't look like my shade because I have a very reddened skin on my chest. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a four out of 10. It's not amazing and it, take, it kind of takes my foundation off as well as I'm going. <laughs> what is next? Oh, yes, bronzer. Mm -hmm. This is a closer look at what I was showing you before. Oh, look. <gasps> it's shimmery though. I'm a bit worried. But well, this looks sickening. I just opened my curtains because it actually looks better than when I didn't have the curtains open. So, right, let's go in. Let's have a look. I'm just gonna... Not much kickback. Okay, let's see. Hang on a minute. Let me do the other side. This camera, due to not having a ring light, it's making everything look extreme. Honestly, in real life, it looks pretty nice. It is a little extreme. Um, but I think that's due to it being a little bit warm toned and I'm probably neutral where I could do with it being a little bit cooler. The formula is actually nice. It blended really well. Yeah, it, it, it isn't bad. I, I like it. It, it. it does the job. I like it. For the 80 pence, like... 8 out of 10, do you know what I mean? Like, it is a bit orangey, whether that's because it's the wrong shade for me or whether they don't have another shade. I'm pretty sure they had a few other shades I could have chose from. 8 out of 10 for the formula for it being 80 pence. Next. 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 Next we're doing the blusher. Let me try and open this one. Oh, it's like a little twisty situation. Like, ooh. <gasps> oh, it looks pretty. I've just stuck my nail in it. This looks really good. Like, wow. And uh, let me get a good little wipe across. She ain't there. Oh no, I wanted you to be good. <laughs> yes, I'm going to use the same brush as my bronzer. I hate my life. No, I actually love my life, to be honest. It's pretty good. Some secret things going on at the minute. Stay tuned. Please let me see. Let me see how it goes. <gasps> Is she showing up to the party? I think she might have found a date. And I think she might have picked herself up. Done her makeup. Decided. I am going to go to the ball. I will show up. She will be liked. She will be looked at. People will think she looks amazing. Because she will show up to the ball. JK, that, that was that was intense. I don't know who I thought I was for that moment. My thoughts, it is, it's building up. It is, it is doing something. It is doing something. You have to swirl, like you have to give it that face paint swirl and you have to pack it on. I'm happy, I think I look glowing. I think I look pretty cute. Overall, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it five. It, 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 the formula itself is the important part and it isn't there. 
you shouldn't have to swirl your brush around like this just to get a color out of it it says perfect on it honey i don't think you're perfect sorry sorry gal okay this is the moment i personally have been waiting for i have two highlighters because I am a highlight whore. <laughs> am I allowed to say whore? <gasps> Is that swear word? I actually don't know if that's swear word. I'm sorry if I'm not allowed to say whore on YouTube. I'm gonna stop saying whore now. I need highlighters in my life and I also couldn't choose between icing and cream puff because they both sounded delicious. So I'm gonna try them both. <laughs> I am going to start with this one. This one is icing. This is the very light ice shade. Now, this looks similar to the eyeshadow and I did not like that. <laughs> One swipe across. Oh no, don't let me down, bitch. <gasps> oh no. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, uh. No. I'm going to put this in my inner corners of my eyes. This is a face of someone who is a much impressed. Oh, 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 oh. She showed up on my nose. Hang on. Do you know what? This might be nice on the eyeshadow. Shall I put a little bit of this on my eyeshadow? She looks nice on top of the, you know, like a little top, a little, little something, something, something on my eyeshadow. Why do I keep referring to it as a person? It's a highlighter. Right, this one is cream puff. This is more of a caramelly looking colour. I have very, very low expectations for this. So, let me get my big fan brush out. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Okay. 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 Maybe I should have tried the other one on the fan brush. Let me do that. Uh, see, Erin, you say not to judge a book by its cover, and then you just do it. She... <laughs> it's there. Okay, they're good. Let's move on to the lips. Okay, I've got, again, I've got low expectations for these last two products. For some reason, the lid and the actual component is a slightly different colour. It's another crayon type. And then I just put it on my nose and this. Ah. Okay, okay. I, I actually prefer this type of liner than the pencil ones. I've got very uneven lips, so it will look uneven no matter what, but mm, I like it so far. This lipstick is... I love how they've all got the little rabbit for cruelty free. Like, can, can we see this? Can we Can we see that? This is in shade Bliss, if I can get into it. What a beautiful name. <gasps> oh. It's creamy. I don't know. I don't know if it'll hold up. Like... If you're gonna wear this, it's probably gonna come off the minute you eat or drink or like lick your lips or speak too much, you know, it's gonna come off. I got it on my tooth. <laughs> Other than that, the colour's lovely. The, the formula is lovely too. Honestly, it feels luxurious. It feels nicer than my MAC ones. Oh, yes. I think actually that paired with the lip liner might actually be my two favourite things that we've tried today. So, that about sums this video up. It has been eventful to say the least. The quality of this video has changed throughout. It went from a camera, to a phone, to a brighter light. You know, I'm really sorry for the lack of consistency with this video. I'm just gonna go through everything one last time and tell you my, my guesses and my nose. I'll start with the nose because there's actually less of them. I've just looked back and I like things a little bit more than I portrayed that I did. The Argan Oil Lip Oil. This is a no. It's sticky when you put it on. Yes, it tastes nice. It's kind of just sticky and nothing. The roll doesn't even work that well. So that's gonna be a no. Second of all, the Velvet Mousse Eyeshadow. This is just a mm, 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 no. There is no need for it. Especially when my, this is actually my yeses, but I'm just gonna bring it out now. This could probably be used better than this and that's its actual purpose is to be an eyeshadow. And this highlight is probably better at being an eyeshadow than the actual eyeshadow itself. No. What? What is this? No. Mm -mm. She is not it. No. 
My yeses though. Socks, honestly, the socks. <laughs> They're so brilliant. I really think they're so cute. My favorites, the blue eyeliner, the navy eyeliner. Like, yeah, I've kept this look simple, but this eyeliner has just brought it into something else. Like, if that makes any sense. In the end, the brow, the brow pen, uh, what, crayon? The brow crayon, <laughs> it did surprise me. I actually kind of like them now. The more I've looked at them throughout this video, the more I've gone like, I actually kind of like them. <laughs> the lipstick and the lip liner. These are my favorite things. I'm gonna use these every day. This lipstick, I've been forever looking for a lipstick that doesn't look too much like lipstick. And I think I've just hit the jackpot with these, so. That is today's video. Please head over to my Instagram where I will be reviewing these once the video is out. I will do it either that day or the day after or something. It will be there um, and I'll probably drop it. I have some exciting things coming up this month which will probably mean I will be less active on social media. Stay tuned for my surprise. I will announce it on here. I will announce it on Instagram. I will tell you all about it. Trust me, I will, because it's all I've been going on about this past month. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I have left Miss A's link below. I've also left L Ash Lashes below too for her Instagram. If you've watched this video all the way through, write in the comments, she showed up to the ball <laughs> and uh, let me know what you thought of the video and hopefully i will see you guys soon ish hopefully sooner than last time um so yeah bye <laughs>